The term synthesis refers to the act of combining separate things into a coherent whole. It involves analysis related to classification and division, comparison and contrast. It makes use of the ideas of other people, combining sources into one's own words, in order to further understand or establish context. This is a higher thinking skill, but it shouldn't be unfamiliar to you, as we often synthesize information in day-to-day -day life. For example, voters in the 2016 American presidential campaign had to choose between two candidates, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, by synthesizing the ideas of each candidate and coming to a conclusion. Synthesis is necessary to evaluate, compare or explain relationships between several texts. A synthesis usually occurs early in the research process. As one reads about a topic, collecting information from a range of sources, the text should be evaluated, searching for the flaws, weaknesses or the limitations and any potential links between various sources is key to a synthesis. Most advanced academic writing including a literature review, relies heavily on synthesis. To synthesize is to combine two or more elements to form a new whole. The elements may be methodologies, arguments or findings. The new whole is the conclusion that you draw. When synthesizing existing literature, your aim is to provide an overview of the current state of knowledge about the research topic. Throughout the process, you will identify a variety of sources that reveal the existing knowledge surrounding the topic. As you complete your reading, you'll come across a number of findings, ideas, suggestions presented by different academics and scholars. You are expected to critically evaluate this bank of information to identify themes and gaps and to then synthesize this to provide the reader with a better understanding of the topic. Remember, when you synthesize, you are not merely compiling or summarizing information. You must synthesize for a reason. A synthesis should do more than simply reiterate information and summarize sources. It should avoid overwhelming the audience with indiscriminate facts, examples and quotations too. Remember also that plagiarism should always be avoided. It's a very easy mistake to make in the synthesis process. In a nutshell, a synthesis logically organises information collected from various sources and in doing so builds an understanding of the current thought surrounding a topic. This process is central to academic writing.